Please have a seat. Well, for decades, uh, the middle class uh, in this country uh, was the engine that powered the economy, uh, and that allowed us to all grow together. Hard work paid off, responsibility was rewarded. It was uh, that basic bargain that made this country great, that no matter who you are, where you came from, uh, you could make it if you put in enough uh, blood, sweat, and tears. But over time, uh, a winner-take-all philosophy began to take hold, and it delivered huge rewards to those at the very top, but left uh, everybody else working harder and harder just to stay afloat. A lot of families took on more debt just to keep up. Mortgages were sold that people uh, really didn't understand, uh, and in some cases couldn't afford. Uh, financial sector uh, was able to make huge bets with other people's money, and that strain of irresponsibility uh, eventually came crashing down on all of us. Now, I ran for president to restore that basic bargain. Uh, I ran because I believe that our economy works best uh, not from the top down, but from the middle out and from the bottom up, where you've got a rising, thriving middle class and ladders of opportunity for everybody. So four years ago, even as we were working on restoring the economy and dealing with the immediate crisis, we also wanted to figure out how do we set new rules for the road to make sure that a few bad apples in the financial sector couldn't break the law or cheat consumers uh, or put the entire economy at risk. And uh, I was fortunate, even when I was running for president, to have some friends like uh, Elizabeth Warren, who, who had uh, already done a lot of uh, academic work on this and uh, you know, had a whole series of ideas about uh, how we might start making sure that consumers were treated better and, as a consequence, uh, take some of the risk out of the system. And because of uh, those conversations and that work, uh, and because of some terrific uh, efforts by other members in Congress, we were able, for the first time in history, uh, to get a consumer watchdog on the job, to look out for the interests of everyday Americans. Uh, and I am very proud to say that last night, Rich Cordray was finally confirmed by the United States Senate to keep serving as America's consumer watchdog and as the director of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. So we're very pleased about that. Good. Good. I first nominated Rich for this position uh, two years ago this week. Uh, he was eminently qualified. He had the support of Democrats uh, and Republicans uh, from across the country. A majority of state attorneys general uh, from both parties, uh, Rich's former colleagues, uh, called on him to be confirmed. And for two years, uh, Republicans in the Senate uh, refused to give Rich uh, a simple yes or no vote. Not because they didn't think he was the right person for the job, but because they didn't like the law that set up the consumer watchdog in the first place. Uh, but without a director in place, the CFPB uh, would have been severely hampered. Uh, and the CFPB wasn't able to give consumers the information they needed to make good informed decisions. Uh, folks in the financial system who were doing the right thing didn't have much certainty uh, or clear rules of the road. And the CFPB didn't have all the tools it needed to protect consumers against mortgage brokers or credit reporting agencies or debt collectors who were taking advantage of ordinary Americans. Uh, as a consequence, last year, I took steps on my own to temporarily appoint Richard so he could get work, uh, get to work uh, on their behalf. And Americans everywhere are better off because he did. Uh, and thanks to not only Rich, but uh, his terrific team, uh, I know many are represented here, um, you know, we've made real strides, even uh, despite the fact that the agency uh, was hampered by uh, the confirmation process. Um, and I would argue that part of the reason we were able to finally get Rich confirmed today is because he's shown through his leadership and because of the very hard work 
that everybody uh, at the CFPB has already done, that this is making a difference in the lives of the American people, a positive difference day in, day out. It's hard to argue with success. So yesterday, Richard uh, was officially confirmed. Uh, I want to thank senators from both parties, including Senator Reid, Senator McConnell, Senator McCain, uh, for coming together to help uh, get Rich confirmed. Uh, and obviously, Elizabeth, who wasn't a senator when she thought this up, but is now a senator, she was poking and prodding people for a long time uh, <laughs> to help make it happen. Uh, senator Reid's leadership in particular was obviously instrumental uh, in getting this done, and I, I couldn't be more grateful to him. And together, we're giving Americans a guarantee that the protections they enjoy today will still be around next year, and the year after that, and the year after that, and for years to come. Uh, while we're on the topic of nominations, I also want to thank the Senate for agreeing to give my other nominees who've waited far too long the votes that they deserve. These are all highly qualified men and women who are just ready to go to work for the American people, for students and for seniors, for veterans, for middle-class families, special interests, they'll always have their lobbyists. Uh, they'll always have the capacity to tilt the system uh, in their favor. But middle-class folks deserve leaders who are going to stand up for them as well on a day-to-day -day basis in the trenches. Um, so let me use this opportunity to remind people of what the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, under Rich, Rich's leadership, uh, can do and has done already. Uh, even in some difficult circumstances. Today, uh, if you want to take out a mortgage or a student loan or a payday loan or you've got a credit reporting agency or debt collector who's causing you problems, maybe they're not playing by the rules, uh, maybe they're taking advantage of you, you have somewhere to go. The CFPB has already addressed more than 175 thousand complaints from all across the nation, giving people an advocate who is working with them uh, when they're dealing uh, with these financial institutions that may not always be thinking about consumers first. Today is part of the CFPB's Know Before You efforts. Students and their parents can get a simple report with the information they need before taking out student loans. And more than 700 colleges have joined to make this information clear and transparent. It's making a difference. And by the way, if you've noticed that some credit card forms are becoming easier to understand than they used to be, uh, that's because of the work of Rich's team uh, and other folks across this administration have done to make sure that people understand the kinds of debts that they're taking on through, the, uh, through their credit cards. Uh, today, veterans have access uh, to tools that they need to defend against dishonest lenders and mortgage brokers who try to prey on them when they come home from serving their country. Today, seniors are better protected from someone who sees their homes or their retirement savings as an easy target for get-rich-quick schemes. And thanks to the hard work of folks at the CFPB, so far 6 million Americans have gotten more than $400 million in refunds from companies that engaged in unscrupulous practices. So this is not just some abstract theoretical exercise. Families, many of them hard-pressed, have money in their pockets, maybe in some cases saved a home, uh, or were able to send their kids to college because of the work that Rich and his team is doing right now. Uh, and that's money that uh, oftentimes families didn't have the power to recover before. So Americans are better off because of what Rich has done as our consumer watchdog and his outstanding team uh, is doing each and every day. Uh, and by the way, that's just the tangible benefits that we know of, that $400 million in refunds. But part of what happens is when you've got a watchdog, people don't try as many things. And everybody starts tightening up their practices because uh, they know somebody's watching. And so that has ripple effects throughout our economy. Um, so Americans everywhere are better off uh, because of the work that these folks have done. And now that Rich has gotten the yes or no vote he deserved, businesses and consumers have more certainty than they did before that this will continue. 
So we've come a long way over the last four and a half years. Uh, our economy is growing. Our businesses have created 7.2 million new jobs uh, over the past 40 months. We've locked in new safeguards to protect against another crisis, and uh, we are making sure that uh, we are doing everything we can to uh, change the incentives inside the financial system and, and try to end tax funded, uh, taxpayer funded bailouts for good. Uh, and even though more work remains, our system is fairer and it's more sound uh, than it was uh, when the crisis hit. Of course, we've still got a long way to go to restore that basic bargain, to restore that sense of security that too many middle class families uh, still are fighting to rebuild. Uh, but if we just keep letting people like Rich do their jobs, if we let all these uh, incredible young people know that uh, uh, you're going to keep on going for a long time, you're building something that, that it will last uh, beyond our government service uh, and will be providing protections for generations to come. If, and if we keep focused on that North Star, uh, a rising, thriving middle class, an economy where prosperity is broad-based, uh, then uh, I'm confident that we're ultimately going to get to where we need to go. So I want to thank everybody, and I just want to give uh, Rich a quick uh, chance to, to say something. Thank you. I, I want to thank uh, the president, this president in particular, who has believed in us from the beginning. I want to thank the Senate and the senators uh, for uh, the chance to persevere and be confirmed as the director of this uh, Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Uh, it's all I ever asked for, all I ever worked for was to have a chance to have an up or down vote on the merits, and I, and I thank them for that. For nearly two years, uh, as the President indicated, we have been focused on making consumer finance markets work better for the American people. Today's action, uh, the action uh, I, I was sworn in by the Vice President uh, this morning uh, and the Senate confirmation uh, means that there will be certainty for those markets and for the industries we oversee. Uh, for me, it also reaffirms that our central responsibility is to stand on the side of consumers and see that they're treated fairly, uh, just as the President uh, described it. It's something that people deserve. It's something that uh, they, they want and need, and, and we're there to, to try to provide it. We will continue that essential work, and each one of us, uh, those of us here uh, and those of us in Washington and around the country who work for this new Consumer Bureau, including most especially myself, we're grateful for the opportunity uh, that you've given us to serve our country in this important way. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.